My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We got a drop dead 57 Chevy for you right here. 6,800 miles since the body was off the frame and flipped on a rotisserie and the entire car was restored and upgraded. It is fantastic top to bottom. I have a picture here of all the trophies that's won, some specs, but we have this cool photo album uh, showing before, during, and after the restoration. Again, down to a bare shell, there it is on the rotisserie. Everything's been done on this car, and it's got everything you want. Uh, air conditioning, the power steering and brakes, and power seats, and leather. It's nice. I bought it from a collector in North Carolina, and uh, when the fellow's working here, he got it off the transport truck, drove it a short ways. He went out of his way to say, this is a nice one. My brother, who doesn't drive the cars that often, drove this home one night, and he told me he's keeping it for the week went out of his way to say how nice it drove. So this one here is really a turnkey, exceptional driving car that looks amazing too. So you can go to volocars.com. Uh, that's where you find all the information. Uh, I won't be able to remember every detail, so that's where you can find all the uh, specs. Uh, you can see pictures top to bottom, and that's where you find the price tags on over 200 collector cars that we have for sale. Go to volocars.com. If you enjoy these videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, and you'll be notified as the new ones are being posted. So join me, let's go for a spin. Okay, so body off the frame, uh, just like it sounds, they removed the body off of the chassis, and then it was put on a rotisserie. Big giant, just like you see the chicken turning around in the store. Uh, they can flip the car, and that makes it so nice and easy to work on it from every angle. You just get a better uh, job when it's done like that instead of laying on your back. Uh, so the bottom of the car is all metal, and it's painted like this. It's gloss red underbody. So and meanwhile, the chassis, uh, and it's a California one-piece frame uh, that was all rebuilt, you know, prepped and painted. It's all done in a semi-gloss black. Front suspension's completely rebuilt. Bushings, ball joints, uh, it has gas shocks. Uh, it has an upgraded sway bar in front, and it also has two inch drop spindles. Gives it this nice stance. Uh, in back, it has a custom shock mount bar, uh, gas shocks. The brake system's been all redone. It does have disc in front with 12 inch rotors. It has stainless steel brake lines, and the emergency brake cable system is all hooked up. The fuel system is all new. The tank, the straps, the sending unit, and it also has stainless steel fuel lines. <clears throat> uh, it's an aluminized dual exhaust system. It has an equalizer uh, crossover pipe, and it has Borla stainless steel mufflers. Sounds nice. You'll hear it towards the end of the video. The motor is a Crate GM 350 motor, HO motor. You look up at the motor, it's clean, has a mini high torque starter, has the flywheel cover. The transmission is a 700 R4, it's an overdrive automatic, has been completely rebuilt, has a 2000 stall, uh, has a TCI lockup switch. The U joints, drive shaft, that's been rebuilt has its original 1957 Chevy rear end in it, but it's been gone through and it has 275 gears. Those are highway gears. This car will just cruise all day long. Reading the guy's notes, it seemed like he was interested in gas mileage and reliability. So this is a nice highway cruising car. Uh, so underneath, check it out. It's uh, pretty impressive. The body is amazing too. It's painted in Viper Red. Uh, in the photo album are pictures of this as a shell, just nice, clean body, metal shell. It's a 210, but he actually put the 150 trim on it. He just preferred that, thought it looked nicer. 
And I shouldn't be touching, but boy, this is slick. This is like Teflon. And this is all nice and smooth. The body gaps around the door here are nice. Couple little bumps right here is actually, that's where a factory seam is and I can kind of feel the line right there. This is all real nice. Uh, I've got a pimple smaller than my pinky nail to corner the door there. This all fits real nice. Notice the rockets are gone. They give a nice clean look. Took the emblems off the front, but this fits really well. Uh, hand pinstripe up front here. Wow, this is slick. Same thing, one little tiny blister on the corner of the door. This is all real nice and smooth. I don't see any other problem areas, you know, across the roof, all of this. Everything looks really nice, very impressive. The trim, it's all redone. Uh, all this stainless is polished and straight. The rubber gasket's new. That's because all the glass is new. It's smoked glass. It's not the stick on tint, it's actual smoked glass. Trunk lid fits real nice. All the stainless is polished like chrome. It has LED tail lights. California one piece bumper. All this beautiful, it's all redone. As a third brake light. Better show you where the gas is at. They're billet intro wheels. They're 15s in front, 16s in back. New door handles, new mirror. The door jams are painted slick. New weather strips, new window seals, like around the vent windows. It's the original Vintag's, never been off the car. Uh, they used a stainless steel screw nut and bolt kit uh, when they put the car together. The wipers are nice. They're upgraded wipers. It has a newer uh, electronic uh, wiper conversion. They're HID uh, headlamps, new lenses, bumper, everything up here is real nice. And again, a California one piece does not have the, the splice and it has billet daggers in the front. Inside is very comfortable. It smells like leather when you get in there. Nice soft leather seats out of a Cadillac. They're eight-way power on each side with power lumbar. The door panels were all custom made and upholstered, billet handles, the light works. The inside frames have been chrome plated instead of painted. Uh, it's got shoulder belts in the front, nice carpet with matching mats. pinstripe on the trunk as well. So you can see this is all carpeted. There's a nice little chrome latch here. You can turn it, opens it up. That's where you find the gel cell Optima battery. The battery cables run inside the frame up to the front of the car. There's a flannel lined California car cover. Those are a few hundred dollars, I think four or 500. You have a jack, you have a spare. You have plenty of room in here to store your stuff if you're going out overnight. New weather strip, it's all painted nice, stainless hardware. The dash is painted slick, has billet trim, uh, classic in industries gauges, nice looking classic gauges with tachometer. It's a vintage heat and air system. The controls look like the original, but they're electronic instead of old cables. The motor is a GM crate motor. That's the most reliable motor you can get right from GM. They come fully assembled. They come with oil in them. You bolt it in and you go. It's their HO motor. It's 330 horsepower. It has aluminum intake, a Holly carb, HEI ignition system, Sanderson uh, powder coated uh, block hugger uh, headers. Uh, it's got a nice set of matching air cleaner, valve covers, and plug wire holders. It has some billet brackets and pulleys, chrome alternator. The headliner is a nice cloth headliner, all redone. LED dome light is working, new uh, redone visors, new mirror. 
the center console I think is out of the Cadillac too. Uh, there's a CD changer in the console. It's a floor shifter with the wood grain trim. <clears throat> Billet uh, on the pedals. So back in the motor, we got power brakes, power steering. It's a 605 power steering conversion. Uh, Griffin four core aluminum radiator with a polished overflow. It has the motor fan and it also has a big electric fan in front. Uh, to cool it down. Uh, it's got a nice uh, premium dipstick for the transmission and everything in here is just painted up real nice. All gloss paint, nice finishes, uh, beautiful motor compartment. So it has 6,800 miles since it was done, but May uh, 2021 the car went in for a complete inspection and they flushed the fluids, they gave it new spark plugs, they serviced the air, they replaced the power steering pump. Uh, so, like I said earlier, this is a turnkey driver. The door handle, everything is just shiny. I don't know what they've got on here, but it's all so slick to the touch. Shuts real nice. So there you have it. That's my impression of this car, and it's it's a good impression from everything I see and everything the other people have told me about it as well. This one's exceptional. Go to volocars.com. Plenty of ways to reach out to the salesman. If you do have a question or concern, feel free to ask them. They can also help get this delivered to your driveway, and they can help you get it financed as well. It's at volocars.com. If you enjoy these videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, you'll be notified when the next one's posted. Thanks for watching.